once again I am back with the fourth part of our fun filled chapter The Shadow Story to Galu. So kids, it's now time for yet another exciting exercise. Now we are going to extend the given patterns. You can see these beautiful patterns on your screen and they are so unique and different. So come, let's start with the first one. In the first pattern, we see some arrows. Yes, one arrow is pointing upward and another is pointing downward. Then upward, then downward. So like this, you can complete this pattern. Then comes the next one. And here we have a beautiful pink color flower. But how it all starts? It all starts with a petal. There is one petal, then there are three petals and then we get a complete flower. See how beautiful it looks? Similarly, we have another pattern in front of you, a square containing four triangles and there is one blue color triangle. That blue color triangle is actually changing its position. So this way you can complete the pattern. Just keep on changing the position of the blue color triangle. Okay, now let's go for the fifth one. See, this pattern is so beautiful. It's an oval figure and there you have some red designs in it. You can complete the pattern. See the first figure? In that we have a small arrow. Then we have another arrow in the second figure. But what's the difference? In the first figure, that small arrow is pointing upwards and in the second figure, it's pointing downwards. Then in the third oval figure, we get two arrows pointing upwards. Now you have got a fair idea what to do with this pattern. I'm sure you can complete this pattern speedily. Let's move on to another pattern. Let's go ahead with A, B, B, C, C, D and what comes next? Guess you are right, it's D, E and then, well that I'm not going to reveal because that's an exercise for you. Alright, let's go for the eighth pattern. There is A and then there is mirror image of A. Then we have B and mirror image of B. Similarly, C, D, E and their mirror images. You have to complete the pattern. What comes after E? Think. Yes, you guessed it right. So, complete this pattern. Alright, here we are reaching at the last pattern. It appears to me some kind of colorful bricks. Yellow bricks, red bricks, they are so beautiful. And now you know after learning about the patterns how to complete them. So I wish you all the best with this fun filled exercise. Hey kids, it's time to have fun with Kiku. Who is Kiku? Kiku is a rabbit who loves jumping. He has 30 tiles in front of him numbered 1 to 30. So now from first tile he jumps to the fourth one. But he forgot where to jump next. So let's help Kiku by drawing a circle on the next tile. Can you guess where will Kiku hop next? Come on. Yes, you can do it. From first to fourth and then to yes. Okay. I will help you, but I know you have already guessed it. It would be seventh tile. And how? From first, Kiku jumped to fourth. He skipped two tiles, numbered two and three. And then, when he reached the fourth tile, he skipped again two tiles, numbered five and six. And he hopped on to tile number seven. After 7, he straight away jumped to 
Number 10, following the same pattern, he again skipped two tiles, numbered 8 and 9. And he landed on the tile number 10. You kids are really smart. You understood it so well and I'm sure you can complete rest of the exercise speedily. Like Kiku, his mother too enjoys jumping. She jumps from the first tile to the sixth tile and then from sixth tile to eleventh tile. And how? Well, each time Kiku's mother skipped four tiles and that's how she reached from first to sixth to eleventh and then to well now you can help her by putting a cross on the next tiles that's a task for you and i'm sure you can do that you can even count on your fingers to get the answers and i know you kids will do a great job so kids we have reached the last exercise of this chapter after this fun-filled jumping marathon of Kiku and his mother. And this last exercise is about extending the patterns. But this time we have number patterns. I will help you, do not worry, because I know I will give you a small hint and you will complete the rest on your own. Okay, so the first pattern goes like this. Five. 10, 15, then yes, it's 20, 25 and so on. And how we reach to 20? Because you know we are adding 5 each time to the previous number. We added 5 to 5, we got 10. We added 5 to 10, we got 15 and so on. We also have two more exercises for you. The second one is 7, 14, 21 and then yes, you're right, it's 28 and then well, now you can complete the given number pattern. Let's come to the third one. We have 1, 7, 13. I know that's a little tricky but you can guess it. You can calculate it. I know you are really smart. So tell me, what would be the next number? 1, 7, 13. That means we are adding 6 each time to the previous number. So the next number would be 19. Yes! And then complete the pattern by adding 6 each time to the previous number. So how are these exercises? Aren't these super fun and exciting? I know, you have to do a little bit of brainstorming here. But that's what maths is all about. So have fun and try these exercises with your friends.